Okay guys, this will be a really quick video because I actually fixed that uh, issue that you so you can't see it in the video. Anyways, so this is a built-in variable in the vertex shader, GL point size, and it specifies the size of a point. Default is 1, so it's automatically uh, set to 5. I set it to 5. You have to enable the GL program point size program being the shader, and then it enables this. And when you do that, the folks at home can see the actual points on the screen spreading out. So this is really cool. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to probably play around with a lot of this. I love the fact that I can animate these points and uh, I got my little particle system going. So it's very good. All right. Stay tuned. <coughs> Hopefully for um, point sprites where we map textures onto this little square make it bigger and then map textures and then also stay tuned for um, instanced rendering which would be uh, exciting and fun as well